Okay guys, let's talk about stairs again. You know, this is one of the biggest differences between measurement standards and one of the biggest problems between agents and appraisers, but we're going to measure stairs according to the ANSI standard. This staircase is pretty simple. It's a basic staircase. It comes down, has a landing, and then goes back down. So what we're doing with this staircase we're basically going to lift this space up to the upper level and include that in the finished square footage. We're also going to count the lower level as finished square footage and it doesn't matter if there's a closet underneath, if there's a half bath, you know, whatever is underneath the stairs, it doesn't matter. Staircases are counted as finished living area on the upper level and the lower level. So in this case, we're measuring the width across this staircase, which we've got seven feet and two tenths. And we're measuring the width at 10 feet. And of course, while I'm here, I'm going to take measurements from here as far as I can get. Remember, you always want to take measurements the greatest distance that you can and make sure all your measurements balance. But don't forget, you know, whatever the stairs look like, remember to count that as finished living area on the upper level. Hello, I want to show you a little different take on the staircase this time. And if you'll see coming from upstairs down, we've got a first basic section, then it curves, and I hope you can see that it curves again going back down. I'll try to film the whole thing for you. But remember, any time that you're measuring upper levels, you're going to take the area of the staircase, the width by the total length, you're going to raise that area and you're going to include that in your second level square footage count. Now, whether we all agree with this method or not, it's the method that the ANSI guidelines state and the North Carolina residential square footage guidelines. That's the method that they require us to use. So that's what you need to use. It best represents your customers. And this area, you know, is probably 40 to 50 square feet. It's not a big area, but you know, if it's $150 a square foot, it's enough difference to make sure you want to get it done right anyway. So just remember, anytime you have an upper level area, whatever the stairs are, raise that space and count it within the finished square footage for the upper level. 